Welcome back to basketweavingsupplies.com and Hook and Weaves Design short tutorial on French randing. Now the basket that we're working on is the Nosset Tank Buddy Basket, but this could really be done on any basket. It's a great way to use up scraps because you just need small pieces of dyed reed. In this case, we're using pieces that are about six inches long. Um, I'm using space dyed reed that I had dyed um, this basket actually is a customer order, so they, this is the color that they wanted. So it has some blues and some turquoises. It's a great way to kind of spread color through your basket. And again, by using scraps, you can get some really um, interesting designs. So French randing is basically over under weaving, but on a diagonal. So with these short pieces, here are the pieces that we have here. And I'll show you. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, you tuck inside the basket, tuck inside, and on a diagonal, so there's your behind, you go over, under, and over. And then it'll just kind of hang there. Now I tend to work to the, to the left, so on the next one, where you started under, you're going to go over. So over, you can see, <coughs> under. So each row will be opposite, just like in regular plate weaving. And then back to the inside. And these pieces, like I said, you'll have long tails. You'll be able to tr trim these off after. Move over to the next one. Start over. You'll go under. <coughs> Excuse me over and back to the inside. Next one, over, under, and over. Now I'm not pushing these down all the way because we're gonna need some room to get in over here to fill in the last few. It can be a little bit tricky getting in these spaces. So I'm not gonna push these down all the way, but you'll be able to pack as soon as you're done. We'll do that. I'll show you the last one and then I'll finish up and come back. So over, under, over, and to the inside. All right, I will be back in a minute after I've gone all the way around and show you how to finish up. Thanks so much. Okay, we're back. And we, I have um, basically woven all the way around the basket. And I'll just show you quickly kind of what it looks like. There's a lot of pieces sticking up, so it can be a little overwhelming, but right here you can get an idea of how it's supposed to look. And I should probably mention that if you wanted to keep going, I only did um, a very short over, under, over, under. If you wanted to keep going, you would just end up with a wider band of color. So you can keep going for a bigger section of the basket as well. That's really up to you. But this basket only calls for um, basically four, it's really basically four rows. So as you can see, we're back to the beginning here. And we have three more that we have to do. You can see the three blank ones. And it can be a little tricky getting in here. So you just kind of have to weave it in, move things out of the way. And usually the last one is the trickiest. So this one we're just gonna weave in here. Just make sure you're doing the over, under, over, under. And then here's your last one. So again, you're just kind of weaving it in and out because you're underneath all of those. Back out and back in. Now, if we just pack down a little bit, you'll be able to see, this is where you can kind of want to go around now. Oop, and we can see right here that I have an extra. I wove in an extra. So we're just going to pull that one out and pack down. You want to go around the whole basket like this and pack them all down. And then we're going to do one more band of the three rod arrow at the top. And before you start that, you might want to trim these off. And I generally trim them off just to give you an idea on the inside. Like you can look over here. I trim them off just and leave it kind of go across the stake where it's behind and trim that off so you can kind of see how that looks 
And then as you're doing the three rod whale for the three rod arrow, you might even be able to catch the ends, but you can go back after and kind of trim the rest of it up. So if you have any questions, again, you can email me at basketweavingsupplies at comcast.net. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jen from basketweaving.com and Hook and Weave Designs. And um, I look forward to hearing your comments and if there's anything else I can help you with. Bye-bye.